So my woman, uh, who has been a source of amazement and uh, inspiration for many years, is Ethel Bedford Fenwick. Ethel was the first ever state registered nurse. She was the matron of Bart's Hospital at the age of 24. Born in 1857, Ethel was responsible for a profound change in the profession of nursing and the introduction of registration. My inspirational woman is Elizabeth Garrett Anderson, who was the first female doctor to practice in the UK. She had to spend years and years disguised as a man so she could practice in her profession. And afterwards, when she came out as a woman, she actually went on to develop the first medical school places for women in the UK as well. So she paved the way for the thousands of female doctors that practice here today. My inspirational woman is Audre Lorde. Audre Lorde defied definition. She wouldn't be categorised and she had courage. She was a black woman, a poet, a mother, a lesbian. She was fearless, but she also admitted that she did have fear and she worked through her fear. My inspirational woman, woman is Nicola Adams as she became the first female to win gold at the Olympics for boxing and also managed to retain her title. And she's a really good role model for women as well as the LGBT community, which I think is really awesome. My inspirational woman is Essa James, reason being because she has made me consistently feel a type of way for over a decade. I'm listening to her music, listening to the same songs and I think it takes great um, creativity to be able to do that and have an impact on me, an impact on people uh, with her music. Um, there is not a time that I don't smile when I listen to her music and so she's my inspirational woman. My inspirational woman has to be the late Professor Margaret Turner Warwick. Margaret combined a formidable scientific intellect with the humanity of an exceptional physician and was in fact the architect of modern respiratory medicine in the UK. She was also the first female president of the Royal College of Physicians, the first in its 500 year history. My inspirational woman is Stacey Dooley. Um, I find her really inspiring because of all the work she's done for women around the globe and all the problems she puts into the limelight and into the general media. Okay, so I've been involved in sailing and sailboat racing throughout my entire life. Uh, and as a child of the 80s, there is one particular person who sticks in my mind. Uh, and that's a woman called Tracy Edwards. Uh, and Tracy created, put together the first ever all-woman crew for one of the major offshore yacht racing events, the Pinnacle event. So the woman that inspires me most was my high school tutor. Um, I think she sort of gave me that, given me that confidence um, to believe in myself. She was my history teacher and as a result of that confidence was able to do very well in my exams. And I think I've taken that throughout my life, hence the reason why I'm here today. The woman who uh, influences me and inspires me in a very positive way is a vlogger from Pakistan um, known as Laiba Zed. She does lots of good stuff, like she portrays an image of how daughters and sons should be treated equally because that has been an issue in my country and she brings out this positive image of my country as well. The reason why I, I, I picked uh, called it Colvin is because uh, many people will have heard of uh, Rosa Parks because of the um, bus boycott movement and because of the segregation and on, on the buses in America. But Claudette Colvin was the one who was key to everything that happened afterwards because when she was 15 she simply decided not to give up her seat when she was asked to do so by the bus driver. My inspirational woman is the Nigerian physician Dr. Stella Adadevo because of the key role she played in preventing an Ebola outbreak in Nigeria in 2014. When I think of women who've inspired me I generally start closer to home to my mother who encouraged me to believe I could achieve anything I set out to do and my daughters, whose resilience and determination to make a positive difference in the world is a constant source of inspiration. If I look beyond the personal sphere, though, there is a particular woman who stands out for me. This woman is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, now about to turn 86, 
and despite three bouts of cancer, seems to have no intention of retiring anytime soon. My most inspirational woman is Caroline Lucas, for passionate, principled politics in a dark time of chaos, who has the ability to think locally and personally, as well as inspiring engagement at the planetary level in her campaigning for engagement with climate change. The woman that I'd say has most influenced me in my life is Jessica Ennis Hill, in the sense that when I was younger I wanted to be an athlete, and her discipline, motivation and just natural well-being in trying to complete all the disciplines in the heptathlon is amazing. The most influential woman in my life would have to be my mom, um, mainly because a lot of my morals and ethics arise from her, just a lot of honesty, integrity, be kind to people, and she always works really hard. Ever since I was a little kid, she's always just always working like multiple jobs and trying to support me in what I want to do. And if I'm able to even replicate somewhat of what she's able to do for me, for other people, um, I think I'm doing my mom proud. My inspirational woman is Patti Smith. She's a singer, songwriter, um, poet and visual artist. And she is often known as the godmother of punk and she wasn't just in a male-dominated world. Actually, her debut album, Horses, is widely credited as the catalyst for the New York City punk scene in the 1970s. My inspirational woman is Marie Curie, and that's because um, she's always inspired me in the field of science. Um, being a woman, she's, and also from Poland, her family suffered under the Nazi regime, so you could say all odds were stacked against her. So my inspirational woman is Linda Smith. Uh, Linda Smith was a comic uh, with quite high profile on things like um, Have I Got News For You and on the News Quiz and all sorts of, of programmes. Um, and for me she's inspirational because she was quite unique in terms of uh, being a, a funny woman. She was uh, political, she had opinions, she was happy to share them, but she was funny, she was witty, intelligent and always interesting to listen to. The most inspirational woman to me is my mum, but a close second is Michelle Obama. She's fantastic, educated, ambitious, beautiful. Um, my inspirational woman is my grandmother because she has the capacity to love and be kind to everyone unconditionally and she taught me the importance of giving to others.